This is a crowd song. Imagine this being played live in a stadium and everyone knows the lyrics. The singer will point to the crowd. You will do it. I'm pretty sure you will. And we're back with more Metal Gear Rising Revengeance musical deep dives as requested by you. Let's go. Hello, I'm Lion Might. I'm a composer, music producer, and violinist for over 25 years. And if a professional musician's expertise interests you, you're in the right place. Now on to the music. The Stains of Time, Maniac Agenda Mix. Listen to that low tuned guitar. Either this is like super detuned or like an eight string rhythmic guitar. Holy kick drum. Damn! Punk? Metalcore? Some hints of Green Day in their early days, especially the drum. Let me go back to that very interesting vocal style right there, that vocal mix. Yeah, that was interesting. It starts like a regular vocal harmony. They were just like singing like normal. And then the sound engineer or the sound designer comes in with that very interesting da -da -da from B to A. Doesn't that remind you a little bit of Amalgam from Undertale? Oh my god, that is a solo. That is a very traditional metalcore, speed metal solo using the entire range. Yeah, finger tapping. Tapping the, the fretboard. Harmonics. Yeah, I like the short and sweet approach of these Metal Gear Rising Revengeance songs. The 
be the first to see my videos at least one hour ahead of everyone by supporting the channel via YouTube memberships or Patreon and keep the videos coming. Links in the description. This song is Red Sun. A lot of you have asked for this, so here we go. Now this is proper metal. Holy modulation. More wob wobs. Now that I've listened to quite a bit of the songs from Metal Gear Solid, there's one aesthetic that I've been noticing, and it is like a combination of two very crucial musical aesthetics or musical genres, if you will. The combination of a raw, powerful metal genre, but then there's also an intertwining with that heavy use of electronic sounds, like electronica, some EDM elements. And I think that's a really good representation because Raiden, our favorite hero, Raiden, is a cyborg, an android, whatever technical term, human plus machine. And I believe the metal parts of the soundtrack represents the raw human anger that Raiden has. Revenge, it's a game about revenge. And the electronic parts, intertwining electronic parts, definitely represents the more cybernetic or modern concepts on the game. Nano machines, son. So for example, like this, this is Red Sun is mostly a metal song, but then I really enjoy these tiny details of you will hear some like, like electronic sounds. You hear that? So this is very traditional power metal. Yeah, dun tang dun tang All right, let me check that. What key is that? So, uh, yeah, we're key of B. Oh, from B to C, okay. Just a half step up modulation. Oh, from B to F sharp. That is quite a leap. Very beautifully arranged. It sounds so seamless. That's one of the more advanced skills of composers or songwriters. They use key changes as a tool to add more tension or up the ante or up the intensity. 
But sometimes they do it in a very sneaky way, sneaky like a ninja. They do it in a sneaky way that it sounds so natural. So you only notice it if you're really like paying attention. Oh wow, this halftime. Oh my God, I got uh, fooled by this halftime. The organic drums do tuk 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 It halved the tempo, also known as halftime. But then it combined the drum loops, the drum machine. So it kind of melded into this one intense rhythmic counterpoint that is very interesting. That break. Bam. Wub wub wubs. So many wub wub wubs. It's no longer a coincidence that I heard wub wubs in the beginning of the other song. So it is intentional. I think 11 years ago. Yeah, I think that was the time dubstep was a thing. It is a simple power metal song, but with lots of interesting electronic details, which I think also has to do with the general aesthetic of the game. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which is this concept of man plus machine, the combination of cybernetics and organics. Only thing I know for real, Maniac Agenda Mix. Check it out. Yeah, beautiful call and response. Yeah, this is a crowd song.
what? I thought they were gonna transition to a chill part of the song, but turns out it's the ending. This is such a great rhythmic motif because it evoked kind of the sound of machine guns. That's a very interesting riff to start with, and it's so very clear and concise. Yeah, and they maintained that rhythmic light motif even in the chorus, which is interesting because this kind of consistency is very much inherent in classical music where you start with a micro idea of a music and then you use that to expand the rest of the song. So if, for example, this one. And then in the chorus, this one. Yeah. The contrast of the long note and the short rhythmic pattern is immediately introduced at the very beginning of the piece. Yeah, that is just what they call in composition, you know, using the light motif to expand the whole piece. Another very famous classical piece also employs this idea. Da -da -da -da. And you listen to the whole piece, it's, it's just different versions of that short rhythmic idea. This is like employing the musical sensibilities of Beethoven, but in a metal song. This is a crowd song. Imagine this being played live in a stadium and everyone knows the lyrics. The singer will point to the crowd. You will do it. I'm pretty sure you will. The songs I feature are based heavily on your collective voices. So use the comments or the suggestion form in the description. Now here's another video for you to enjoy.